So as you're working along with uh, projects and you have a lot of clips, you might want to add in markers to remind you of something. Let's say, for example, in this spot, you need further edit and you need to come later on, then a marker would be really helpful. So for that, you can simply click on this little triangular icon, the arrow icon, click on it and the marker gets turned on. You can turn off the marker by clicking over here on to the marker uh, word just like this and click in on marker or you can just click on the arrow again and it gets turned off. So let me just turn on and here uh, you can see that as I turn on the marker, you got this little strip of line right here and in this line you can go and keep a marker wherever you want. Let's say for example, you can go over here, add in a marker just like this and a marker has been added. So you can rename the marker as well. Let's say for example, further edit needed just like this. So now I know that further editing is needed on this section right here. Especially if you're working with, uh, with a big team, then markers are helpful to uh, tell the editors where further edits are needed or some animations are to be kept and so forth. So you can add in as many markers as you want right here. And what uh, mar the markers that we're adding in right here are the timeline markers. And then what I can also do is I can go around. This is the cursor, as you can see. If I were to hold control and press the last bracket and the um, uh, uh, last bracket keys, like the uh, start last bracket key, it goes back and last bracket key, uh, key close, then it actually goes around just like that. As you can see, it jumps around. The cursor jumps around right onto that marker. So the timeline marker stays on the timeline. So if I were to move a clip, let's say, for example, you can see that the clip moves around. And what I added right here is the clip marker and the clip marker moves around with the clip. So clip marker, to add in the clip marker, simply click on the clip just like this. You can go around with the cursor as well and snap it right onto the place just like that as well. And the clip marker uh, tags along with the clip just like this wherever you move it. So there are two types of markers that you can work with. You can turn off the marker as well just by clicking, clicking this, but the markers don't disappear. You can see these little triangular heads right there. They are the markers and you know uh, just like that how markers work like. So even in the lesson where we recorded PowerPoint slides, markers were added in just like this. So this is how you manually add them. So let us just expand this out once again. So let us bring the cursor right here. And if I were to click on here, what happens is that the marker is there in timeline. If I want to convert the timeline marker onto a clip marker, I can simply click over here just like this and you can see that I can just drag it around onto different clip according to where I like it. I can also go around here and click back on the timeline and the clip marker becomes a timeline marker. So let's go around onto this marker right here. So now this is the marker as you can see as I click here, it actually moves along up just like that. And that is how you can work around with timeline markers and clip markers inside of Camtasia. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.